Donnie's igloo is complete! Rub, rub, rub! How amazing! Oh, it's cold. I'm so cold. Why is it so cold? I have my hat and scarf on, but I'm still cold. Oh, if our country is this cold, then how do the people on the North Pole survive? What do they wear? Fur coats? Fur hats? Scarves? I don't think they'd be different from me. Ah, there's one thing that's different. People on the North Pole build houses with ice. Igloos. I heard igloos are warmer than you think. I think I'll try making an igloo too. You need ice to build an igloo. But today, Donnie got some disposable lunch boxes ready instead. Don't they look like ice blocks? How many blocks of ice do you need to build an igloo? We'll measure the height first. One, two, three, four. We need about four. And the width is one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Phew, I'm hot. Even in the cold winter, when you move a lot, your body temperature goes up and you feel warm. I'm so hot. I think I'll take my scarf and hat off. When your sweat cools down, your body temperature falls, and you could catch a cold, so be careful! Now let's start building the igloo! Yay! Now, I'm going to put on the first block of ice. Tani put double-sided tape on three sides of the ice like this. Peel these off one at a time. And attach it like this. Real ice would be so cold. I wonder how the Inuits thought of building houses with ice. Ice is easy to find on the North Pole, you see. And that's why they built houses with ice. They cut the ice into blocks and started stacking from the bottom in a spiral shape and filled in the cracks with snow. And after it's filled, they threw water on the inside walls. Wouldn't that make it colder, you think? No! As the water gets cold, it freezes into ice. It gives off heat of solidification. Then the ice melts slightly, trickling down and filling up the cracks. It freezes solid and keeps out the wind. I'm going to make an awesome igloo! Woo! Stack the ice, stack the ice, and build an igloo! Stack the ice, stack the ice, and build an igloo! La la la! I almost filled the full circle! The very bottom layer has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four 19, 20, 21, 22, blocks! Now let's stack the second layer! There, here it goes, here. To make it sturdy, the blocks need to overlap each other like this. The higher you go, the narrower it gets. So they need to overlap a little when you attach them. But isn't it awesome that there are round-shaped houses? If igloos were shaped like a square, it would take the wind on all four sides, making it colder. And the arch-shaped root makes it sturdier. Now for the fourth layer. Ta-da-da-da! Now that my fantastic igloo is finished, how about we decorate it with these ice crystals? We'll put it here like this. Oh! <laughs> oh like this. Wow! Donnie's igloo is complete! It's so amazing! <laughs> Let's go inside the igloo! Hmm, it feels much warmer now that we're inside the igloo. 
It's much better without the chilly wind blowing. Ouch! Oh, what was that? It's static electricity. Why is there so much static electricity in the winter? All objects are made of an atomic nucleus and electrons. When two objects create friction, the electrons move. Then, each object carries plus or minus energy. And as the plus and minus attract each other, static electricity is created. But did you guys know? There's a way you can make static electricity. You can use this acrylic board. Rub, rub, rub. <laughs> All together. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, 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 rub. When you get closer, oh, you can feel the static electricity. Oh, it feels like something is pulling on my skin. You can't see, huh? This time, I'll show it to you better. You lift it up like this, then... Wow! Do you see this? Wow! The rice puffs stick on the acrylic board because of the static electricity. And if you put your fingers closer... Look! Putting your finger close will make the rice puff go pop, pop, pop! Wow, so cool! Now let's try pulling a bigger object with static electricity. With all the energy from the static electricity... Oh, oh, wow! <laughs> wow, do you see that? How amazing! Wow, the balloon is sticking on! I didn't even touch it, but the balloon floated up in the air! This is all because of static electricity. Teleporting, zap! Zap, ding, ding, ding! <laughs> this time I'm going to try pulling something that's metal. Will it work again this time? Now? Whoa! It's rolling! It's rolling! It's rolling! Back the other way! Yeah! Wow! Whoa! Wow! Ooh! Wow. It must be really strong! <laughs> Isn't it so much fun playing with static electricity? Do I know how to get rid of it, you ask? Of course I do! To get rid of static electricity, turn on a humidifier and bring up the humidity. Or you can put a paper clip on wool material. Then you can prevent the static. This winter, don't get startled by static electricity, but have fun with it. I'm playing here. <laughs> mm, smells nice. 